In this video, we're gonna take a look at the top 10 best Minecraft performance mods. I think we can all agree that Minecraft is a pretty bad optimized game. As a result, a lot of people are having a bad experience while playing it, especially those who don't have a high-end gaming PC. Luckily for us, there are a lot of mods out there that can significantly improve the performance and with that, the FPS of your Minecraft. And today, we're gonna take a look at the 10 best mods that do exactly that. Before we start, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. And then without any further ado, uh, let's uh, dive right into this. Very good to know before we start and actually dive into this top 10 is that this top 10 is not in any particular order. They will just be 10 amazing mods that will all improve your Minecraft performance. Also very good to know is that all of these mods work on the latest version of Minecraft and they are all for fabric. With that being said, let's take a look at the first one. So the first mod of today's list is Sodium. As I think that most people who've played mod of Minecraft before have actually heard about this one. So Sodium is a very popular Minecraft mod downloaded over 4 million times that greatly improves rendering performance and fixes some graphical issues. It basically replaces the full Minecraft rendering engine. Because of this, Sodium greatly increases your FPS. With some people seeing double, sometimes triple the FPS they had without Sodium installed. It optimizes your game so much that some mods like for example Iris Shaders, which is the mod that I use for these beautiful shaders in Minecraft, actually require requires you to have sodium installed. Without it, iris shaders will just not work. So it doesn't matter what you're doing in Minecraft, but you should install sodium. The creator of sodium has also made another very cool and epic mod called lithium. They describe themselves as a modern general purpose optimization mod for Minecraft, which works to improve a number of systems. So game physics, mob AI, block ticking and a lot more. I would always recommend installing this mod alongside Sodium as it just improves the game a lot more and will enhance your FPS even further. Now the same developer also has a third mod called Phosphor, which improves the lighting engine. The most inefficient part of Minecraft. Though I would actually not recommend going for Fast 4, but instead I would recommend going for Starlight. So the idea of these two mods are the same. They completely enhance the lighting engine of Minecraft. But even though there's nothing wrong with Fast 4, Starlight just does it a little bit better. Now if you're playing in Minecraft 1.20, Starlight is not required anymore. Like stated over here, Mojang improved upon their own lighting engine using the same performance critical designs for Starlight. As a result, they have closed the performance gap, obsolating Starlight on the client side. Basically meaning that if you're playing in 1.20, Starlight is not really needed anymore. Though there's still a lot of people who are not playing Minecraft in 1.20. And most mod packs in general are not for 1.20 yet. So if you're playing in any other version than 1.20, then this might be a really good mod for you to install. Now, next on the list, we have Immediately Fast. And this Minecraft mod basically increases certain aspects of the game even more. So Sodium and Lithium and Starlight already do a lot. This mod especially increases the performance of Sodium, aka it will improve the rendering aspect of the game even more. So over here you can see some more information on how much Immediately Fast actually improves your game. You can see that when you're not using any mods and you would have 16 FPS without using Immediately Fast, then with Immediately Fast you will have around 60 FPS, which is an increase of almost four times. Now when you're using Sodium, Sodium, so bare sodium, you will already get 21 FPS, but if you also add immediately fast on top of that, it will go all the way to 82 FPS, which is incredible. Now there are a lot more comparisons here, and you can take a look at them yourself if you're interested, but it basically means that if you install this mod on top of sodium, you will improve your rendering and with that your FPS even more. Then next up we got Ferret Core. And what does Ferret Core do? Very straight to the point, it reduces the memory usage of Minecraft. By default, Minecraft uses quite a lot of RAM. And if you have a PC that doesn't have that much RAM, that can be extremely frustrating. Especially if you want to have something like Discord or Spotify or Chrome on the site. Well, Ferret Core will optimize your RAM usage and with that make it so that your Minecraft uses less RAM. Which, it doesn't matter if you're running a high-end PC or not, optimizing the game even more is always a great great thing to have. So I would highly recommend installing Ferret Core. Now another thing in Minecraft that can lag your game out quite a bit 
especially if you have some kind of huge mob farm, is XP orbs. They might not look like they're lagging out your game, but oh boy, can they lag it out. A mod called Clumps fixes this by basically just combining a lot of XP orbs together in a single entity. And with that, it reduces lag. It is such an easy mod. It is literally drag, drop, and you're done. Which, by the way, goes for most mods I'm covering today. But if you have a lot of mob farms or if you're overall experiencing lag because of XP orbs, then this is the best mod to install to fix exactly that. Now, do you want to improve your Minecraft rendering even more? You can. Entity Culling. This Minecraft mod makes it so that it does not render anything that is not in your site. So on their own page, they say Minecraft skips rendering things that are behind you. So why is it rendering everything that you still can't see because of a wall, for example? Well, this mod utilizes other CPU cores to really quickly path trace from your camera to all other blocks slash entities to determine if they're visible or not. And if they're not visible, they will not be rendered, which will let your game run a lot more efficient. Now, we've already optimized a lot of rendering and lighting inside of Minecraft, but there are more things to optimize in this game. And one of them is making the game boot faster. And Lazy DFU does exactly that. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, but basically what it does is it disables things that Minecraft does not really need by default. And by doing that, it will make your game boot faster. Now, it does say here that as of Minecraft 1.19.4, the mod is not really necessary anymore. Mojang has fixed a lot of these problems themselves, and it is now just not required. Though, because I know that a lot of mod packs are not even compatible with version 1.18 yet, this mod might be really, really handy for you. Now, we're getting close to the end, and your game should already be very, very optimized. But next up, we have Memory Leak Fix, a mod that fixes multiple memory leaks in Minecraft, both server side and client side. Now, this mod actually recommends you to use Lithium and Ferret Core, which both of these mods I've covered earlier in this video, but there are quite a lot of known memory leaks inside of Minecraft. Not all of them have been fixed yet, and this mod will fix some of those known memory leaks. There's literally no downside to installing this one, so I would highly recommend it. And then this mod, FPS Reducer. I've been using it for a while now, and it is so great. It basically reduces unnecessary GPU and CPU load by reducing the frame rate automatically when the client window is inactive. So basically, you have Minecraft, you're playing the game, and then you decide to tap out of there for a bit. You're going to Chrome, you're maybe gonna watch a YouTube video, but Minecraft is still on in the background. Then believe it or not, the game is still taking a lot of resources. Especially when you're running shaders, like I always am, it can bring your GPU all the way up to like 80 degrees. From my own personal testing, my CPU and GPU were more overloaded when not focused on Minecraft than when I was actually focused on the window. It is insane. It is so badly optimized. And this mod instantly fixes that. As soon as you tap out of Minecraft, your PC will just stop caring about the game. The frame rate will drop all the way down to just a few FPS. And as a result, your GPU will not get overloaded. Your CPU will not get overloaded. And you can just keep your Minecraft in the background while doing something else on your PC without worrying about spending a lot of resources on the game while it's inactive. So, highly recommended, FPS reducer, great mod, you should install it right away. Now, in theory, you can install all the mods I showed you today. I can tell you that it works, because I'm running all of them right now. They're all compatible with the current newest version of Minecraft, and they all just work great together. So let me disable shaders for a little bit. Let's put max frame rates to unlimited, and let's disable VSync. And you can see that I'm currently sitting around a comfortable 1200 FPS. Now, I do have to tell you, I'm running an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti alongside an Intel Core i9-9900K. So this was basically the latest hardware a couple of years back. But the fact that when doing nothing, I get 1200 FPS, almost 1300 FPS. And when I start jumping around in game, it will drop to around 900, 1000, something like that. But still, the FPS is crazy high. Now here I am in the same map using the same settings 
but now without these mods. And you can see when walking, I'm averaging around 600 FPS. And when standing still and just looking into a direction, I will get around 750 FPS. Now, of course, that is nothing to complain about. That is still crazy high. But when you saw that we were just hitting 1200, almost 1300 FPS, and now it is getting nowhere close to that. So even though the FPS is still crazy high, it is nowhere near the FPS we were getting with all of those mods installed. I really hope I could help you out today. Hopefully you discovered some awesome new Minecraft mods to improve your FPS. Minecraft is an amazing game that we should all be able to enjoy. And it doesn't matter if you have a high-end PC or a low-end laptop, we should all be able to play this game. And hopefully by using these mods, you will be able to enjoy it even more. Thank you all so extremely much for watching. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>